Hey everyone, welcome back to Far Cry Primal. We've left, uh, we've returned right where we left off. In fact, I believe exactly where we left off. Um, I've got the ability to grab... Sabertooth Tigers now. Bite fish. I guess they wouldn't know the word piranha. So yeah, we're gonna go look for a. I'm gonna look for a saber tooth tiger at least, because that's what I really want in this world. Oh, predators, you say? Oh, did I just fail the mission? That, like, flesh tearing sound is really good. Although it does kind of sound like clothing ripping. Nice. Right between the shoulders. Feel that piece of wood in your trapezius muscle? That's me, dog. Big cats still butt wiggle when they get ready to pounce. Now look over there. Yes. 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 Oh, that's the biggest of boys. Yes. Oh, yeah. Search. Seek a destroyed boy. Get him. Do it. Yes. Let's take a look at the beasts menu. Requires the beast rider skill, but it is rideable. It's only a st it's not good stealthy, but it has the highest speed and its strength is almost capped. <laughs> oh, did you maim and kill a monster for me? Oh, good boy, good boy. Okay. Now we're going here. Cave lion. Actually, let's go here first. In keeping with how I played uh, Far Cry 3, where I was trying to 100% it, I elected to ignore all of the little collectibles just because God. But I did everything besides all the collectibles. I think I even got all the letters. <laughs> Enemies bleeding out is really cool. An animal skin or horse skin? Yes! Oh, that's a good boy. Only 5 XP, yeah. That makes sense. We didn't see a lot of it, but in Far Cry 3, there were uh, quite a good deal of animal assists that they totally didn't intend to happen. Because, like, there are things where you would just, like, shoot the lock off of a cage with a tiger in it, and it would break out and kill a bunch of pirates. And sometimes it would just clear the entire thing, and you wouldn't have... That looks like a corpse flower. You wouldn't even have to worry about it at all.
Oh, this feels so cool. Oh, I didn't know how short their tails were. It makes sense, though. That's awesome. Come on, do your little mantle. I can do that in real life. Get it, boy. Good boy. You get a little extra. Oh, his ear wiggle. That is so good and pure. All right, so what do we need for Beast Rider? Because I didn't know that was an option. Owl attacks. Food boosts. Double clubs. Traps. Slings. I don't even have the slings. More spears, shards, traps, and then more food stuff. Mammoth Rider. <laughs> cool. And then Beast Rider. So we gotta go and build Karush's Hunt, is what I'm hearing. Until then. Hmm. I think I'll save it, honestly. Sometimes it's just good to have a skill uh, skill in the chamber. Just in case. The carrier. I love how simple the side quests are named. Make me proud. Finish him off for me. Like having a saber tooth tiger, it's really its own reward. I don't feel like I need anything now. In here, dude? There's boars. Apparently, I was under the impression that boars were fucking up Wencha left, right, and center. Is that not the case? Come on, really? I mean, I can tame this beast, but he kind of started a fight with my, my cat there, so... Sorry, going a little Arizona ticks there. Right, now we're heading to this. I really love how thick and huge Takara feels. I talked about it before, but like, a lot of uh, protagonists just feel physically weak, but like, Takara feels just so heavy. And yet the fact that he can, he's in such good control of himself that he can still sneak despite being so huge. He's like a cat, you know, he's like a tiger. Just like, yes, they're sleek and svelvete and feline animals. Oh, 
But like, a tiger is pure muscle, and that's scary. They are fucking scary animals. You're not getting away. Good boy. Man, I'm glad that people know who Takar is. Like that, you know, my fame has spread around the Wenja. Because, like, if they just didn't know that... There was just a dude who had, like, a saber through tiger. Motherfucker. Come on, I'm trying to tame you, you dumb doll. Whoops. So I wonder if the time it takes to tame beasts is different based on... Nope, get back here. I wonder if the time it takes to tame beasts is different based on how many beasts you have. Or like, um, how big the beasts are. What do I want? I guess Cunning Beasts next, which is three, so I'll need to wait anyway. Although I could... That wasn't meant to happen. I was supposed to like side jump basically. Right, let's take a look, Mr. Owl. I'll attempt to not fly you into a, uh, into a wall there, but no promises, you know? really hoping I could just death from above that dude. Yeah, get him, boy. Good. Oops, sound dropped out there for a second. Perfect. The wings and feathers of an owl are such a beautiful, such a beautiful thing. Hell yeah. All right. X skin. Okay. Jay, my. Don't worry, got him. So something that always annoys me is whenever things are romanized in a weird way. I've talked about this in the past, but I despise the way that uh 
old Celtic or Gaelic or Irish words are Romanized. Which just means how they're, you know, written in English. Because, like, the Japanese word, well, one of the Japanese words for moon, Tsuki, it's pronounced that way in Japanese, and so it's written T S U K K I. 1K, sorry, I stuck. I have a stammer in a profession that requires me to talk all the time. Shock of all shocks. Um, what are you guys? Ooh, cool. Yeah, that's how you pronounce that word, and that's how it's written. You know, Tsuki. But there are... So many of the, like, European languages are... Romanized in such a stupid way. Like, I've talked about how much I despise the way that Kukulen's name is written. It looks as though it's written Chu Chu Lain. You know, it has so little to do with how it's actually supposed to be pronounced. I just wonder who the jackass is who wrote it. Then. Like, he could have just written his name C-O-C-O. -O. Or, sorry, C-O-O. C-U-L-L-E-N. Kukulen. That's how that's... Like, why is the H in there? They do that all the time. Like, the word Dahi has a T in there, so it looks like Daithi. But you don't pronounce the I or the T. Why are they in there? Why do they write them in there? Who put those letters in that word? They're not supposed to be in there. Like, in English, you don't pronounce those words. So why did someone put them in that word? It's just... It infuriates me. Oh, these are different guys. These aren't Kuda. And Tinsai's name is... It looks as though it's written Tensei. Appa! You guys only snuck up on me because it's a cutscene. <laughs> yeah, flex on him, Adam. <laughs> Dickheads. These really bear prints? They're so little. Honestly, yeah, also, like, two days for one bear? What the fuck, guys? That's pretty pathetic. Like, Takar could find an animal, an animal of much smaller size much quicker. With or without his animal buddies. Now, granted, they don't have the mystic, you know, hunter vision that I have. Which may or may not be hunter vision. And also, maybe, uh, eagle visions from Assassin's Creed. 
But still. They shouldn't be making fun of me if they don't have this shit. Because, like, maybe those are just, like, normal humans, and that's what, like, normal humans would be able to do. Like, y'all, you gonna be dicks to me about this? Come on. All this together and shit, you know? Hey, before anyone starts waxing lyrical. High School Musical's overrated. There, I said it. The best parts of High School Musical are not... The best parts of High School Musical have nothing to do with the protagonists. Like... I'm trying to remember those kids' names. Gabrielle and Troy, I think, are their names. Oh, he knocked over their fish things. Of course. That actually makes a lot of sense. Like, there's so many parts of High School Musical where it's like, I don't care. I don't like Troy or Gabriella. And so, like, all of their songs are worthless. Sharpay's alright. And all the other characters are good. Duare. Never seen that word written. Anyway, yeah, that's my spiel about High School Musical. Again, get your head in the game. It's a musical number about telling Troy to fucking pay attention and shit. Like, that's a whole musical number dedicated to how Troy is full of shit. It's exactly what he deserves. Now, granted, it's a musical number telling you to not care about musical numbers. Which is just one of those weird things that happens in the world of a musical. But, like, um... I don't dance, which I know that's, I don't think that's in High School Musical 1, but like, I mean High School Musical in general. Just High School Musical in general. Yeah, like all of them, the best parts are have nothing to do with the protagonists. Protagonists kind of suck. Which is to say, just Gabrielle and Joy. Like, I would much rather just watch a movie re-edited to have them just cut out of it. Anytime they show up, gone. Soren, flying? Nah, man. That shit's lame AF. Oh, we have to kill the bear? Damn. Incoming. Hell yeah. Couldn't possibly reach him. He's in three feet of water. Alright, come on out. That reminds me. Can we start picking some stuff up? Oh, shit. We can. That's cool. need to tame one more thing. Hmm. 
Man, that is a dope looking spear, I must say. Oh, sure, you loosened it up for me. Dickheads. Alright, let's see what we get from that. Hunter Vision, sacks, tag enemies. Okay, yeah, I kind of need that. Where are we heading next? Oop. Stone shard. Oh. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that beat's pretty hot though. I must say. Oh shit, we need more animal hides. That should not be a problem though. I wonder why Sabertooth Tigers died out. Like I would hate for it to be like a thing like, oh yeah, they're not actually that good of predators, you know? Cause like, look at them, they're so big and scary. Maybe it's like they're, they were so good at predators that, like, all their food died out, you know? Where's the corpse? Goat skin. Ah, oh, fuck. What a regular animal skins. He's wounded. All right, all right. You had your fun. Let him go. Stone shard and Kapala shard are different. Huh. Interesting. I wonder what well, high. That stone. Fuck yeah, sliding. What up, dude? Palhu chuan pis chajarta waikash. Winja palhu santam dramarsh. Wa winja apashkanti ati. Usai waida masakwe. You got it, dude. Did we cross through another, like, Wenja event? Oh, there goes one. That, that one's dead. Unfortunate. Let's do another outpost. Doing outposts is fun and forcing the player to not even be able to use guns is awesome. It's one of the many parts where this game really shines, of like, this is new, this is cool, this is rad, you know? I love all that shit. And then I'm going to head back and do some hot stuff. 
some weird hut stuff. South Maple. Oh, interesting. His mode actually changes and it's reflected in the icon. I didn't notice yet. Yeah, sounds like an Udom party going on up there. And in the olden ways, in the ancient days. When all the nuts were having a party. Big Bad Beowulf comes along to ruin it. Don't fuck with me, guys. You'll lose. Thank you. I don't have my original wolf anymore, and I don't love him, but, you know. Yes. Good boy. Forward scouts, huh? Alright, I'll be careful on my way up then. So these are the guys that they mentioned in the intro, although I've forgotten their names. They're not as mad as the Udom, and they don't eat uh, human meat. Go wait over there. Let's see if I can tame this beast. I can indeed. Brown bear. Alright, let's take a look. Brown bear... Oops. Is slower and less stealthy, but they also draw aggro. Let's see what this little blue thing on the- oh, it's another one of the hands. I should have thought so. Daisha hand. Because there's like less of them in general, I kind of want to discover all the Daisha hands. Oh. Pardon me, sir. Mr. Brown Bear, please. Right. I, I can see him on the mini map. He's going the other way. Right, let's take a look here. As like a hero, Takar feels very balanced. You know, like I don't feel as though he should be this like super guy, you know, this this over god who can't be defeated by anyone. But like he is tougher than the average dude. Also Using the animal as a drone, using the eagle as a drone, fuck yeah. Whoa, I just got whipped. Well, guys, let me eat my crunch trap. See, being on fire was not part of my plan there. That that was an unfortunate side effect. Let's head into here and start clearing them out. Wow, 
They have a cool setup in here. Gotta say. Also, this is unique. Um, most of the outposts are not like outdoors like this. Boy. Oh, that's that's gruesome. Cause like with a machete, it's a very long slit of the knife, you know. But like with with the. Uh, you know, it's a subtle knife, but with this thing, it's just... You have to get so... You have to get in there so deep, it's very meaty, it's brutal. Alright. Alright. Take some of those. Yeah, I'll need these. Good on slate, though. Okay, let's see if I can upgrade anything now. Oh, I can. I gotta go up. Gotta go upgrade my cave. In that case, let's hit the map. Back to the base. All right, so where is my cave? Oh, animals are detained. I mean, this is probably it, right? Cave wall. Three out of 184 collectibles found. I'm 12% of the way done, guys. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get all Flintstone in here. Nice. Damage. Oh, this does less damage. Durability four. Wow. Fed. Sling. Don't even have that yet. Oh, Karoosh. I should go upgrade his hut. Um, badger skins. I haven't even found a badger. Wow. Let's just max that out. Hmm. What are you? So that's mammoth skins. Damn. Mama Fadi, the Sakwa Mama Fadi. The Chasal Cup. You are home. Um, go Hawaii, the Huska one that is Daicha. You want a hot upgrade, huh? Well, have it, you shall.
That cutscene is unskippable. Unite the Winja. All right. Where do I see that then? Cool. Uh, I'll grab this. Because I want that. Little loading screen, huh? Ah, it's a cutscene. That makes sense. It's a pair. Grow one. Radical. So I guess I'm just going to go around picking up side quests. I'm cool with that. Oh shit. Got another skill already. Or it was just a really late pop. My god! Tafrasta for my god! Winja Kwaista, Tachisla Tatichan, Winja Badaha, Madame Shidausa. Like the the it looks like the muscle's been scraped off of it, like it's been atrophied. You know, that's really kind of cool, honestly. Jaguar skin? Are you crazy? All right, I guess we're gonna go find a jaguar. Karush, talk to me, baby. <laughs> Uh, perfect. Nice. So I guess I should have done this immediately after meeting them, but I feel like my way's faster. Two-handed club, you say? All right. Oh man. Oh, that's that's very useful. It just shows me. Haha. <laughs> okay. Udom's skills and Izil. Izila skills. Oh wow, and it just shows me what I need as well. That's damn plain useful. So we need badger skin, mammoth skin, reeds, and jaguar skin. I don't even know where one would find a mammoth. Reduced fall damage. That's useful. Uh, I want Mammoth Rider. Okay. Hell yeah, girl. Man, I don't even care about doing the main quest. Uh, Alderwood and a rare lion skin. Yeah. 
Oh, wow, what the hell happened to you, dude? His skin's all burnt. Sunwalkers. Izeal. God, they've invented slavery already? So maybe he is strong enough to hunt and kill a wolf. He just broke that dude's neck with his bare hands. Jesus. All right. First, we're doing a mammoth skin. It's a bear. Oh yeah, huh? Wolf. Short breath. It's hard difficulty, so I think I'll hold off for now. Wooly rhino. Here we go. Mamuns. All right, let's party. We're hunting that one. is shooting. Oh, it's a one shot. Thank you. They have such little ears. They're very cute. I got straight bodied there. Sting bombs, huh? What the fuck just happened there? He's heavy. Yes! Please, in fight! That would be great, in fact. Right, now I've gotta save my tiger. He's the real one. The last of the OGs. My controller's rumbling so hard. Good 
god. Oh boy, we got wolves showing up now too. Hooray. Oh god. Guys, I just need one mammoth skin, please. Oh, man. What? Who? Oh, shit. Oh, my tiger died. Because I was away. I've got an idea. Oh. Little uh, forest fires going on here. And they weren't fucking around when they meant he's fire resistant. Here's what I'm thinking. Oh man, again. Out as a young guy. So it must be the little fuzzy guys, huh? Oh god. Damn it. Where am I? Okay. Come on, man. I'm your friend. I'm your friend. Right. Oh, so that's a new animal, cave bear, not a brown bear. Man, I don't even know where badgers would be. We found mammoths, though. You're a big boy, aren't you? You're a big, big boy. I suppose I couldn't throw bait to this mammoth, huh? Alright, now here's the plan.
I'm going to run this mammoth into a camp and force everyone to fight it. So they actually had elephant riding in Far Cry 4, but I don't think it was dynamic. I think it was just like a mission thing. Like, hey, you're going to sit on the back of this mammoth and fire a machine gun. I'm going to name you Gaspacho. I think that's a good mammoth name. <laughs> that's brutal. Now I have the bear to deal with. This isn't exactly an upgrade. Oh, hello. I have a different bear, which is fine. Get him. I want some cat meat, boy. about that. You're a big boy, huh? God, two bears on fire. Christ, but I'm beat up though. Good boy. Good bear boy. All right, let's get this bear pal, y'all. Nope. All right. All right, I talked about this like an hour ago. But there's this really good Far Side comic I like. Where there's a bunch of like cavemen looking at this woolly mammoth they killed. And it's got like an arrow sticking out of its nuts. And they're like, hmm. Hmm. We should write that spot down. Ooh, rare North Sea. Man, the ability to just switch what you have ready for... Like, in terms of... What your heal is, is so useful. Man, this feels cool. Running with a whole pack of wolves? Fuck yeah. I love seeing weird animal packs. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, let's go back to piss again. Until I get more health, I don't even feel like I'll need the full heal, you know? You know, we actually have a waterfall like this pretty near my- Oh my god, it's Stonehenge! 
Everyone knows this is exactly where Stonehenge is. And geographically speaking, I think Stonehenge might be one of the worst uh, landmarks ever. Like, just because of what people in movies do. Because, like, Stonehenge, like, THE Stonehenge is apparently in everywhere in Europe. Which is, you know, obviously not true. And, like, they could just say it's a different standing stone. It doesn't even have to exist, but, like, no, it's Stonehenge. Guys, come on. Man, this is this was stupid. All I wanted to do was just fight you guys. No. Oh. All right, that's not so hard then. Thanks, Owl. Alright, so let's see what we've got. Doing my little smack lippy board noises. I need reeds of all things. I need lots of reeds. Fuck. Let's do more main quest. Hmm. Maybe not. Man, I don't know what's growling on this rock. But I know that I want to know what it is. What if it's just a guy who's like really good at impressions in there? Hey, dude. Four feet away from there. Like there was Wenja and Udam right next to each other. You'd think they would have started a fight or something. Let's try to recycle that plan. Yeah, I'm going to call you Gaspacho too. That is to say, Gaspacho the sequel. <laughs> oh god, did I hit something? Oh, pull over, dear. See, if you hit something from Mammoth back, I don't really feel like it's your fault. Okay, that one was my fault. Mammoths often were killed by bears. Yep. Oh god, there he goes.
13 meat. That's outrageous. I mean, that is how much meat a mammoth would give you, though. Bear's a little low on health, but I can pick him back up with some meat in just a bit. All right. Let's look around here. I want to find someone on the fringe of the village that I can just snapshot with this with this owl. You know? my bear dog. Bear's dead. Imagine you're fighting a guy, just mid-fight, takes out a crunch trap, takes a bite. You know, he would power up. It's pretty realistic, honestly. I summon you again. Now, in my hour of need, aid me. I'm going to name that Sabertooth Tiger Gandalf. Awesome. I rid his body down the rest of the way of the vines. I get the feeling that that's not the way that that takedown is supposed to work, but that's a pretty good ending for the episode. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Far Cry Primal. Hell goddamn, yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. 
See, I say that, but then it's got to take a... Okay, have a good day.